Daily Strength for July 12th. Strength. Be strong in the Lord and in His mighty power. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10. Paul did not undercut the importance of the spiritual battles we engage with. He wrote often about how we are in a war against evil and cautioned us to be alert to it. Just prior to describing a detailed metaphor of suiting up in spiritual armor with each of its specific components, he gave the most necessary piece of the battle plan advice, be strong in the Lord. God is ready and willing to give us everything we need for any situation. Often, however, He will wait for us to ask, so we are reminded that He is our source of strength and that we should always be turned toward Him. What other battle plans does the book of Ephesians offer? So in Ephesians 6:17, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. And then there's a story in my Bible. Swords are still used for fighting and very skillfully by the swordfish. A swordfish is from five to 15 feet long as he goes through a school of fish slashing with his sword. He leaves behind many fish for his meal. There is another sword still in use, too. It is called the Sword of the Spirit, or the Word of God. You need this sword to fight your enemy, Satan, when he comes to tempt you to do wrong or be unhappy or fearful. Verses in the Bible tell you what to do. They give encouragement. Keep your sword handy. Use it often. Memorize words. Memorize verses from God's word so you will never be caught without your sword. And in Ephesians chapter 1, verses 12 and 13, it talks about being sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise. And a way to look at this is when you have a horse and a horse is branded by a rancher, the horse and the cows get branded so that you know whose they are. So if you think about branding on a horse, in the Bible, it means it's the same as the believers being sealed with the Holy Spirit until the day when Christ will return for us. We belong to him forever. Although we can't see him, we are marked by the Holy Spirit to show that God owns us.